Hey guys, Ziomaro here, and you're watching This Week in Gaming. Valve and HTC have just announced the latest HTC Vive, a new virtual reality set to compete with Oculus Rift. HTC says the headset includes 90Hz screens, 70 internal sensors, two base stations, and two wireless controllers with their own sensors. The headset will be using Valve's Lighthouse technology to give a 360 degree experience. HTC say it will be a more active experience than the Oculus Rift. The headset will connect to your PC and apparently it will be on the market later this year. Epic have announced that their Unreal Engine 4 is now free to developers. Instead of the previous subscription-based business model, developers can now use Unreal Engine for free and then pay a 5% royalty on gross revenue after the first $3,000 per product per quarter. After speculation of a soft launch in Dota 2 back in August with the Hammer Editor, Valve have now officially announced more info about Source Engine 2. Valve say it's going to be free to all content developers and it's going to include support for Vulkan, which is a cross-platform, cross-vendor 3D graphics API. It was previously known as Next Generation OpenGL. Valve's Jay Stelly says, the value of a platform like the PC is how much it increases the productivity of those who use the platform. With Source 2, our focus is increasing creator productivity. Given how important user-generated content is becoming, Source 2 is designed not just for the professional developer, but for enabling gamers themselves to participate in the creation and development of their favourite games. He adds, We will be making Source 2 available for free to content developers. This combined with recent announcements by Epic and Unity will help continue the PC's dominance as the premier content authoring platform. Valve have also just announced a new product called Steam Link which is a device for streaming Steam games to your television. It connects via HDMI and includes an Ethernet port for ultra-low latency streaming, as well as three USB ports for sending input back to the PC you're streaming from. Steam Link and Steam Controllers are said to retail at $50 each and will be available in November 2015, along with the much-awaited Steam Boxes. I'm Zio Maro and you've been watching This Week in Gaming. <laughs>